right, let's continue with Article 210, Branch Circuits. 210.18 rating. We're also going to talk about 210.23 in this video. So multi-outlet branch circuits rated 10 amps are now permitted. Kind of. <laughs> We're going to talk about it. The rating of a circuit is the ampere rating or setting of the overcurrent device. All right, listen. If you have a 20 amp breaker, I don't care if you run 14 gauge wire or 12 gauge wire or 500 KC mil, it's a 20 amp circuit. All right, the rating of the circuit is the rating of the overcurrent device. The rating of the fuse, rating of the breaker, that's the rating of the branch circuit. It's not the size of the wire, it's the size of the breaker. Multi outlet branch circuits can be rated 10, 15, 20, 30, 40, or 50 amps. If you have a circuit that's greater than 50 amps, it has to serve only one load, right? Multi-outlet uh, branch circuits are not allowed over 50 amps. All right, so 10 through 50. 10 amp branch circuits, uh, 10 amp circuits are not new. I mean, it, it's, it wasn't listed as a standard rating of overcurrent device in table 240.6a for quite some time, but the fact is 10 amp circuits are not new. We're just kind of in recognizing them here in 210.8. Now, there's an exception that says multi-outlet branch circuits over 50 amps may supply non-lighting loads at industrial sites where only qualified persons service the installations. A lot of times, we'll have higher rated branch circuits supplying multiple pieces of equipment in industrial facilities, but we might have interlocks in place that, that don't allow the two to operate at the same time. Okay, so if one is going, the other one can't turn on. Well, why not put those on the same circuit? There's no reason that we shouldn't be able to do that. But that's not allowed in residential. It's not even allowed in commercial. It's only for restricted, qualified, uh, installations, qualified installations at industrial facilities. The second exception says receptacle outlets may not be supplied by 10 amp branch circuits. Okay. We're going to allow 10 amp circuits because we're using LEDs, right? I mean, let's just be honest here. Your whole house probably doesn't pull 10 amps worth of lighting. Not anymore. Maybe 30 years ago it did. It doesn't in 2023 because we're using LEDs, right? So why not allow 10 amp circuits for your lights? Now that's what this is saying and, and it's recognizing it. So sure, you want to use 10 amp circuits? Be my guest but you can't use them for receptacle outlets. And there's actually some more restrictions here. We'll look at 210.23. Allowable load on multi-outlet branch circuits. 10 amp circuits, again, 10 amp multi-outlet branch circuits are allowed for lighting outlets or for exhaust fans. I mean, those don't pull anything. Or gas fireplaces on individual branch circuits, which is absurd because I a gas fireplace doesn't pull anything, right? The igniter, but you have to have it on an individual, a dedicated circuit if you want to put it on a 10 amp circuit. Okay, here's the thing. If you're putting these in houses, they have to be AFCI. And they're not going to make 10 amp AFCI breakers because there's no market for them. Nobody's going to buy a 10 amp AFCI. And for that matter, nobody's going to buy a 10 amp circuit breaker and put it in their house because you still have to use 14 gauge copper. We're not recognizing 16 gauge copper. We're not recognizing 14 gauge copper clad aluminum. So <laughs> what's the point of putting on a 10 amp circuit if you have to wire it like it's a 15 amp circuit? Now, in future editions of the code, you'll probably see, well, you'll see discussion for 16 gauge copper and 14 gauge copper clad aluminum. I don't know if those are going to make it into the code or not. I don't I don't have a crystal ball. Let me let me shake my magic eight ball here once again. Are we going to see 16 gauge copper and 14 gauge copper clad aluminum in the 2026 code? I don't think so. I really don't. Um, I think it was close to getting in in the 2023 and I don't think it's going to get in, in the 2026. That's just my opinion. They're not allowed, 10 amp circuits are not allowed for receptacles, like we said. They're not allowed for fixed appliances. And they're not allowed for garage door openers, which, by the way, is a fixed appliance. And they're not allowed for laundry equipment. So they're pretty restricted. And again, until we have smaller size conductors, you're not going to see 10 amp circuits anyway. And until we have 10 amp AFCIs, you're not going to see 10 amp circuits at all. So there you go. Yes, we're recognizing 10 amp branch circuits. 
no, you're not going to see one at least for three more years, potentially six more years. Uh, they tried to get 14 gauge copper clad aluminum into the 2020 code, into the 2023. Um, and the thing is, changes like that don't happen overnight. Okay, you want to you want to change the minimum size of wire that's permitted to wire a house. That's going to take some time, and it's going to take a lot of testing. Big big changes like that almost without exception, do not get accepted the first time you try to submit them into the code. It's going to take time. So are we going to see it in the 2026? I doubt it, honestly. We might see it in the 2029 or, or who knows when. But for right now, yeah, we're allowing 10 amp circuits, but you can forget about it in all practical purposes, at least for right now.